Hello and welcome to the Inner Gamer On. My name is Brett Yanoski. I'm Devin Dury. I'm Austin Morales. I'm Luis Gonzalez. Today we're going to talk about something that's uh, been on my mind the last couple of weeks, which is streaming becoming a bigger thing and how it's starting to, we're starting to see it consciously affect video game design. So the reason why this first came to light is because of the game that we talked about last week on our podcast, which was a game called SOS, which is the name of it is the, the genre essentially is a social survival game. So this game is clearly built from the ground up for streaming. So I want to look at this game as well as others and talk about how now that streaming is becoming such a big medium and everybody's jumping onto it with Fortnite and PUBG and Overwatch and all this stuff, how we're going to see game design change in the future and how we're going to see games come out specifically set to be for streaming audiences. Just to know, like I've that. been saying this for years. Oh, have you? Years. You predicted the future? Predicted I haven't been it? predicting it. I've been trying to create it. Oh, really? Yes. I actually talked about this in some of our past podcasts about games that need to be turned to streams or developing games for streaming because it's just, it would be so much cooler. Perfect. You know? I, think, I think that you would have a huge, a, a, a more wider brush of an audience that would come in and actually participate. Right. Because then it's like playing a game itself, you know? That's true. I mean, it can be. And then like games that are, I mean, Dark Souls and stuff like that. Those are games that not everybody can play, but if they can sit there and watch it, which we're going to talk about some ideas that I have for how we can impact the future of games. Uh, anytime you mention on. that damn game, you always just make a gesture at me. I know, I do, because that's just, that's Sorry, just what, my what, relationship. Do, do, you, do you mean you Dark Souls? Dark Souls, yeah. <laughs> I'm just you, like, you know, Dark Souls, you know Dark Souls? Devin, you, Devin, do you, you, like, you like Dark Souls, right? <laughs> Devin, so just, when he looks at you, yeah. you literally what I think your of face Devin, is Dark Souls. I think Dark text. Souls. I mean, the fact that they're both D's also just, I mean, it just makes sense. And Go on with Brent, your stupid are you implying point. that you like D's, bro? No, no. Oh. Ah. Ah. you like the D. Oh my gosh, you guys it's are terrible people. Yeah. Uh, I hate, I hate you JK. All. So uh, anyway. First thing I want to talk about is this game, specifically SOS. SOS is a social survival game. And essentially, you drop into this game world and you have 30 minutes to survive, find a relic, survive, get an extraction, and take off in a helicopter. So they added this voice component to it, where at the beginning of the game, think of Survivor. It's the actual Survivor, Survivor show, where... You have all these different players in it. You form alliances and stuff, and then eventually somebody betrays somebody and they backstab each other just so that they can get not voted drama off the island and do all this drama. TNT, stuff. yeah, they know drama. They know drama. So SOS is using that premise, but built obviously for a streaming audience. So when you start the game, you have a set number of players that all fall in there, and they introduce you at the beginning. So there's this couple minute long introduction where they show your avatar and then you have like three seconds as your character does something to vocally say something in the game to everybody else that's playing and then anybody else that's streaming and watching so that's kind of interesting because you could be like i'm gonna kick y'all's asses or you can just say hey i'm i'm here and i'm cool and i just want to hang out with you guys and that, that would be brett's intro yeah that'd be that'd be mine <laughs> hi everybody hi everyone Please so, don't kick my ass. Yeah. So that's the beginning part. And then once you jump into the game, you have the opportunity to, you have to explore. And now there's these zombie things run around that could come and kill you that are just AI. But your ultimate goal is to survive on this island. So you may come up and encounter somebody else and you have voice chat, proximity voice chat enabled. So when you come up next to that person, you can be like, hey, I don't want to kill you. I don't have any weapons on me. Let's form an alliance and be friends. So you press a button, you wave at them, and now you're in an alliance. And that alliance can be broken at any time. So you could find an axe and just like chop that guy's head off, but then you don't have a person to help you kill the zombies. Paper thin alliances. To to the I end. love it. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so that's the ultimate premise of this. And I find it so fascinating because... One, you're talking to random strangers and they easily enable that communication. And then two, you have that there's this moral 
dilemma there because one, you've introduced yourself at the beginning and two, you have a name. So if you are streaming this video, you could become known as the guy that I'm a friendly guy. And then at the end of it, I cut people's heads off. You can backstab gain them. the moniker betrayer McFuckstick. Exactly. Hey, there's that vertigo SFX guy. Oh, He's a betrayer. Yeah, look, look at that. There's there's betrayer McFuckstick. Betrayer McFuckstick. Exactly. So I mean, what, what, what are y'all's betrayed. thoughts on this kind of idea and that this game is designed around that concept of let's jump in and watch these guys. Wait, was it solely made for this reason for streaming? Oh, totally. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, it's like built I for think, that. I think it's great. I mean, I think we need more of that. I think as Twitch and streaming in general, you know, we have Facebook coming out, trying to come out with their thing and then Apple's trying to come out with theirs. You know, it just makes sense to make more games like this. Yeah. Apple yeah. executives are coming Sorry, out. Ac- Apple executives. Former Apple executives. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So something about this that's interesting is the, the audience interaction that they have. So in it, um, if you're a streamer or just a character with charisma or whatever, you can be watched by a lot live audience that can affect gameplay. So if you entertain the crowd, the crowd that's watching can actually interact with this world. <laughs> So they can say, hey, yes. you're really cool. I'm going to give you some resources and stuff like that. Uh, so You realize that you're basically describing the Hunger Games right now. <laughs> oh, no, it totally is. Like, this is the Hunger Games in a game. Wow. I thought PUBG was, but no, I was wow. wrong. It's this. Yeah, until audience sponsorship can come in and be like, oh, let's give him an awesome gun. So on that note, I'm, I'm, I want to pick your brains about this. Like, think about if you're a huge streamer, and you have this massive following. Yeah. Don't you think they're going to get favored over the other players? Do you mean like District 1 where they have all the amazing, like they have all the (laughs) money and all the sponsorships and they usually win and all the other other districts are shit and deserve to be shit and are treated like shit. Do you mean that? I I do mean that. Okay. I mean, did we not learn anything from Hunger Games? I mean, clearly. No, we did not. We decided to make a game about it. Yeah. (laughs) So, I mean, I think that is just fascinating to me that I mean, you can build. I mean, you have your name. Your name never changes. So the more games you play, if you are a terrible person and you are streaming this, or people are tuning in and watching this, you could build a reputation for being an asshole, or you could build a reputation for being the super nice guy that ends up getting backstabbed every time at the end of the game. Well, I mean, Logan Paul's an asshole, and he's got a huge following. So I imagine it'll be kind of a maybe people like watching the asshole play. Maybe. I don't know. And then everyone's like, yeah, stab this guy in the back now. Stab yeah. him in the back now. Now, yeah, now. Kill him now. Kill him now. So is this, is this a game that you guys would play? Like Absolutely not. It? No. Okay. Yeah, 100% would. no. I, I got to get in on this. I want to see what this you, is about. You do? Oh, <laughs> I do. I want to see what this is about. Well, because the, the uh, you know, viewer interaction is what is something I've been saying, in the, you know, here on the podcast for a while. And, having people be able to engage in this world, like change it up uh, in, in a voting fashion, I think is better. Like let's have a vote for this, like for this action, Let, like, uh, let's change it from, you know, day to night or from, you know, mist to rain or, you know, let's send a fireball from, from the heavens and, you know, to, you know, create an opening in the earth where lava will come out. I don't know. Some bullshit like that. That changes the way that you have to play the game. So the players are always on their toes. They never know what's going to come at them, you know, something like that. Yeah. And that way it's kind of like a game. Like you get, everyone gets pumped to see something happen. And for this to kind of just bring in a care package or something. Yeah. Which I don't know what the limitations for that are. See, I I mean, there, there's definitely uh, now there's going to be, but now that this is something that's consciously being thought of in game right. design, I feel like we're going to see more of that stuff happen. If you are watching, don't forget to head over to theinternetgamer.net for our full podcast episode of our weekly game impressions, as well as blog articles and all of our other great content. It is awesome. If you like this video, please like and subscribe oh. as we all these do effects. magical right motions. Saw my head. Oh. Yes. 